What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Sauce, everyone. Before the break, we asked you on our instant poll, who's your favorite musical rad girl? And with 38% of the vote, it looks like you guys said Amy Lee of Evanescence is your favorite. So, Stephen, it's over to you. Who you got over there? Uh, not a whole lot going on, except that I'm hanging out with Clown from Slipknot. Welcome. Hey. Nice to meet you, man. Thank hey. you so much for calling nice on. Nice to meet you. Thanks now, for having me. I need to ask you, we've had Slipknot on the show before. How many interviews have you done without the mask? Well, you know, it's like, it's always a really weird question to kind of answer because it's, uh, I feel from the beginning of our career, we spent most of the time outside after our show talking to all the maggots for like, you know, five to eight hours sometimes. Yeah. And it just seemed like most of our fans got to know who we were, even though the show is based upon, you know, what we wear. Right. You know, the, the coveralls and the other things. So, you know, we just we keep them kind of down but you know it doesn't matter what state i go to or what i do in life you know there's always people that recognize us but you know it's been so long now it's really not it's never been about that right. you know it's never really been all about the mass or all about our face it's always been about the music and the show is always the mass part of it you know right. so we we've done a few of these but not many you know and it's always uh good places that we're familiar with and oh, we're safe. Well, we're, gl we're glad you feel safe here. Now, you're in New York, and you just had a showcase at Don Hills. Yeah, I'm doing a showcase street. tonight. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And uh, you, you do a lot of work with unsigned bands. Yeah, basically, you know, it just got to be kind of like this thing with me that I started thinking about the future a lot. And, um, you know, I really love making music, you know, and um, we spend a lot of time touring in the knot, and uh, when we do make records, it can be up to six months, but, you know, it's a... It's a record every four years or something like right. that, you know, and I really, really enjoy working with people on their art and just uh, always getting that fix of music, you know, and it's mm -hmm. really refreshing to work with other people's stuff and help push them to be the best they can because at the end of the day, um, you know, I can go home and, and not get too mental because right. it's not mine, you know, it's theirs and they're really making the decision. So I just feel like producing is something that will be really good for the future because um, I always want to stay as close to music as I can and you know we put on a really physical show Yes, you do. I probably won't be happy until I'm broken half or something and can't play live anymore anyway one day so that's kind of where we're at. You get in that mindset now on the DVD we see you literally trying to break yourself in half yeah. and um, there's a lot of those random bits of, of, of touring and, and recording and um, I want to ask you on the video whenever it shows you in the movie the movie uh, Voluminal did I get it right? Voluminal. It, voluminal, son of a crap. Sorry, we're making new words here. It's all yeah, right. It I takes know. time. You told me before the interview and I screwed it up. Yeah. But uh, in the DVD, whenever in the movie portion, when people are talking to you, you don't have the mask on. It's blurred. Right. But then in the DVD interviews, you don't have the masks on. Yeah, I think, I think that's a really good question because it's, uh, you know, people are always questioning, I guess, the integrity of, you know, what is the, you know, what is behind all this madness, you know, the blurring, the not blurring, and this and that. But, it's really, again, it's as simple as this, you know, when we put our thing together, the show is one thing, you know, mm -hmm. and it always stays that. But everything else is like our lives, you know, mm -hmm. preparing, you know, searching, learning, you know, growing, evolving, all these things. So, you know, for example, when we're at the uh, Harry Houdini mansion and we're pre proing our record, writing songs, there's some footage like where I took the camera and I'm filming the band, like the core band, playing a song, uh, Vermilion. Right. And, you know, we chose to, like, blur it because it's really an intrusion mm -hmm. that, you know, that's our safe place. And I kind of, like, broke the veil a little bit by, you know, grabbing a camera and, and trying to show everybody, you know, th those kinds of things that go on. Right. But because I was intruding, you know, because we have a pack, you know, we need to work and we don't want any outside, um, you know, interruptions or right. whatever. Um, Even from the inside, it's a yeah, big deal. you know, it's too hard when you're, you, you know, you're digging really deep yeah. to to get it. So, it can really, you know, you can see some people turn their back to the camera and stuff, and that's because, you know, you're trying to feel safe within the creation, and you know, when you got cameras and these things. But uh, to get back to the question, you know, in the film when we're watching it, it just made more sense to understand that it was an intrusion, right. you know, and to respect that art and continue to do what we've always done. Cool, we're actually but, gonna take a look at it right now. Sure. Yeah, here's, here, here's a clip from the, the DVD, uh, Voluminal. 